Well, hey guys, welcome to another Friday. As you know, Fridays on this channel, at least for now, are for donut reviews. It's not Friday right now for me. Today's actually Tuesday, and it's not just any Tuesday, but it is Fat Tuesday. Um, oh, the coffee today is going to be brought to you by White Castle. I don't know if anybody, everybody realizes this, but on Fat Tuesday, we have a very special kind of donut. Um, it's a Polish donut, I believe, and it's one that I could never pronounce. So I had to look up on Google how to pronounce it, and will it play? No, I have to disconnect my phone from my truck. So here is how you pronounce. Punch key. It's punch key. Which I always thought it was Paxi. I don't know. It's Punch Key. Punch Key Donuts. Um, it's a tradition to have these on Fat Tuesday before you go into Lent. At least that's what my Google machine says. So what is a Punch Key? Punch Key is a... We're going to go with it. Polish pastry that is round and fat. And I don't have any... I don't have anything to cover my lap today. This is going to be, this is going to be bad. I don't have any napkins. Oh. All right. I've got <laughs> dripping powdered sugar everywhere. Oh, man. All right. So, I don't know how to describe this thing. It is massive. It is messy. It is covered in powdered sugar. And if I turn that upside down, it's going to get everywhere. So not only does it have powdered sugar, but it also has glaze on it. I got two. The varieties that I typically see, there's normally a uh, lemon-filled, strawberry, raspberry, apple, custard. They also had blueberry today. Oh, and I got these from Buckeye Donuts, the best donut bakery in central Ohio. One of the best in the country, if you ask me. And I went to the campus location. Uh, sorry, I got ahead of myself there. So, this thing is big, it's round, has glaze on it, has powdered sugar on top of that. Um, it has one hole, but I think that's a, that's okay for a round donut. Um, it is, it's heavy, it's going to be messy. And I think this one is going to be custard. I wanted to have the custard one second, but either way, here we go. So... There's this, <laughs> this is going to be messy. Ready for some creamy mustache? That's what we're going to have today. Oh. My truck is a mess. I don't know if you can see on the video, but when I started to talk, I see powdered sugar going out of my mouth. So there's the inside of a punch key. I'm so happy that I know how to pronounce these. Mm, that is good. I generally don't look at the monitor when I'm eating these things. I just did. This is a disgrace. Um... I only have one napkin though, so I don't want to use it up I'm trying to keep my face clean because I'm going to have to do that in between every bite. So this is definitely a, this donut's going for a mustache ride. The, the custard in it is really good. It's not super custardy. It's very mild, if that makes any sense. This is definitely far and away the <laughs> the messiest donut I've had since I've made started doing these things. Um, I'm having I have a hard time describing 
what it is about this donut. I would assume that they take their normal pastry dough. Can you guys take me seriously with all the stuff in my mustache? Um, like, I'm assuming they take the same pastry dough that they make cream sticks and Lay's donuts and stuff out of, and they just turn into these. But it tastes different. It's so good. Considering how big it is, it doesn't feel like I just consumed something that was that large. That's what she said. <laughs> but it doesn't feel that bad. It's good. The pastry is like light, kind of fluffy, kind of just like dissolves. But it's also got some some girth to it because it has to hold all that stuff. And I wish I would show you guys a picture, but I'm wearing like the shortest shorts in the world. They're only like this long. I'm not going to do that to you. You know what I'll do is I'll take a picture with my phone and I'll decide later if I'm going to put this in the video. <laughs> I did just leave the gym and it was leg day. So my legs look all right. But anyway, that was the custard filled. I also got a strawberry filled. Oh, messy. This is so messy. I'm going to have to go through a car wash. We're going to have to shop back at home. Goodness. So here's the other one. It looks virtually the same. So the bottom, it is, I think it's a different kind of dough than a regular donut. There is the little hole where the strawberry filling is. Let's see, I wanted the custard to be second because I have a feeling this one's gonna be really sweet. Um, but I have coffee. It's very sweet, but they didn't put too much in. It's very tastefully done, which is great. I think this is the only day of the year that they make these donuts. So it was important that I, I drive down to campus for this today. And I parked illegally. I basically jogged to the donut shop and jogged back, so I didn't get a ticket. I didn't get towed. I almost called like one of my buddies to ask him to sit by my truck, but I don't know. It's kind of a douchey thing to do. So I didn't do that. I even thought about calling and asking for a ride down there and having them wait for me. But that's also douchey. So I didn't do that. Mm. My poor truck. It's only four years old. It's the nicest truck I've ever had. And I still consider it new. Even though it's four years old, it's still my new truck. Um, it's only got 40,000 miles on it. But uh, this, is the, this is the messiest it's ever been. I don't do anything special to keep it clean. I just don't do anything in my truck other than drive it to work and stuff. And the kids get in it. There's some dirty footprints in here, but it's not that bad. But this is a, this is a train wreck. There's the, uh, the jelly, if you can see it. I'm trying not to sprinkle too much donut stuff all over my truck. Hmm. That's a mess. Those are damn good. Generally, I don't like jelly-filled donuts, <clears throat> but that was, those are the two of the best donuts I've ever had, 
we get these things at the grocery store around this time of year and they're always good but they're they come in frozen I'm pretty sure they come in frozen and there there's nothing they're not like that those are incredible I saw that Resh's bakery is doing them as well I thought about going there but that's like a 40 minute drive for me and when I do these videos I go to the gym and then I go to get some donuts I record and then I go home shower up eat some protein for lunch and then I go down and I work on videos all day so I don't have 40 minutes to drive one way 40 minutes back I mean that would just take up too much of my time but I'm very curious to see how theirs would be now that my lap is even more disgusting I'm gonna act a, a better picture this might be this might make the video there you go what a mess all right so the punch keys at uh, Buckeye Donuts on North High Street in Columbus Ohio a Polish donut um, that people typically have for Fat Tuesday amazing <clears throat> 10 out of 10 on both probably two of the best donuts I've ever had especially given the fact that they're typically not the kind of donuts that I would have ordered the pastry was nice and soft it kind of melted in your mouth didn't really have a chew didn't really have any yeastiness to it um, it was just good um, the filling on the custard one a lot of people don't like custard it wasn't like a Boston cream custard that was like super eggy and super sweet it was just a nice pleasant custard not too sweet at all the uh, strawberry filled one was very sickening sweet but the ratio of custard or of filling to donut was perfect because it was uh, not overfilled so you had plenty of the pastry to offset the super sweetness of the strawberry so there you have it um, thank you for watching I'm gonna clean out my truck now All better. I'll talk to you guys next time.